Well, I'm not for sure if you've ever experienced this. Try to turn it on. No power. It's plugged in and it's just not working. I got to admit, first time this happened to me, I threw it away and went out and bought a new one. Well, today I'm going to show you something to check first and I'll show you guys how to change the brushes in these. All right. Most Dremel models come with this handy dandy little wrench. And there's one of these on the top and one on the bottom. And this is where the brushes are. And you can see how that's worn pretty bad. A lot of times you can just take them and turn them the opposite direction and get some more life out of them. But these are wore down pretty good. So we'll be replacing these today. You see the new ones have quite a bit more of the material on there. This is also a good opportunity to take a air compressor and blow some air through it, clean out a lot of the, the shavings from these. I bought these brushes on widget supply dot com and they're relatively inexpensive and a lot cheaper than going out and buying a brand new Dremel Usually when I change the brushes, this is when I'll go ahead and uh, lubricate the, the flex shaft. Um, you're supposed to do it after every 30 hours of use. I know just keeping up on simple maintenance like that is will add life to it. So uh, next I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is unscrew the flex shaft from the Dremel. I usually take a paper towel and get off all the old grease. And what they recommend is wheel bearing grease to lubricate that flex shaft. So you can pick these up at AutoZone or any auto parts store for a, a few bucks. And it doesn't take a whole lot. You don't want to put too much on there because it'll overheat. But I'll just take it and Take some of your fingers and just slide it down the shaft. Then you can re-thread the drive shaft 
through it. Now, plug it back in and make sure she works. All right, well that makes me feel a lot better that it's working again and we can get back to some carving. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Um, and if you enjoy these videos, enjoy the flag making videos, the coffee table, concealment coffee table video I made, if you enjoy those and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. It really means a lot to me. Thanks a lot.